Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be showing you how to install and use multi-ROM for the Verizon LG G3. Sorry about this video being a little bit late, but um, what you're going to need is three different files. You are going to need the kernel for your ROM. I am using SkyDragon. You need to be on a stock or a stock-based ROM like Jasmine ROM or SkyDragon like I'm on. You need to download the kernel, which if you don't have SkyDragon, you need to download the kernel for other ROMs. And also, you need to download the twerp and the multi-ROM zip file. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and reboot into recovery. All ROMs should have a reboot into recovery. So should seem pretty simple, but I have been messing with this for, you know, this, this morning at least. Um, I, I think it's actually pretty useful because if you're like me, you like the stock ROM for the camera. But you, you like Illusion ROM because it's, you know, CM12 based and it's just really fast and fluid and just awesome, you know, but the camera on AOSP ROMs kind of suck, so, yeah. But what you want to do is go ahead and go to install, and you need to find the kernel. I will leave a link below to the multi-ROM thread, which has its custom kernel in there, as well as the twerp file, as well as the multi-ROM boot. So it has all three files that you need, but I will also leave a link below to the SkyDragon kernel, which is the one that I'm going to use. Now the ROM that I have, it does have the kernel already installed, but I figured I'd go ahead and install it for you guys anyways, because, you know, why not, right? But we're going to go ahead and go to reboot, and if your phone reboots and everything works, then you can proceed to the next step. You see I got the boot animation. Um, if, say, you don't have LTE or your phone just does not boot at all, you need to find a different kernel or you just need to choose a different ROM. Let's see, we're booting up now. Waiting for service. Now, that, that means unknown SIM because I am using a T-Mobile SIM card in this phone. Because I had Verizon for the longest time, but now I have T-Mobile, so, you know. But I do have LTE, and LTE is working, so we're going to go ahead and proceed to the next step. We're going to go back into recovery. I'm going to go to reboot again. I'm going to wait for the phone to turn off. Life is good. Not really. i got to go to work tomorrow. But we're going to go to install, and you are going to want to find the modified twerp, which you see right here, twerp multi-ROM. This was released on the 12th of January, but we're going to go ahead and do install. You do not want to hit reboot system. Just hit home, go to reboot, and then reboot into recovery. And the phone boots into twerp again. This is based on twerp uh, 2.8.3. But 2.8.4 is out now. So I guess if you wanted to maybe make your own modified twerp, you could do that. But you want to go back to install and choose this multi-ROM zip file. And that's the last zip that we need to install. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit reboot system. And you should see a menu pop up. Now if you don't see a menu pop up then, well, you didn't do something right, I guess. But you see auto boot. You see I was messing around with this before. But we're going to go ahead. You won't see any of these. You'll just see internal. So we're going to go ahead and scroll on over to reboot recovery. Everything pretty much takes place in recovery, so. I am using my zero limit extended battery, though. This thing is a beast. I had like 12 hours of screen on time, which was just crazy. But pretty much after you're in here, you want to go to advance. You'll see multi-ROM. Actually, the first thing you want to do is go to settings. Go to screen and make sure that is unchecked. Because if that's checked, apparently you have issues or something. I don't know. But you want to go back to multi-ROM. You can add a ROM. You can inject your boot image file, inject the current boot sector, swap ROMs, settings, and list ROMs. So we're going to go ahead and get into settings. 
you can hide the internal ROM. So it's, say you're on, it's a stock ROM and you have it there just in case you need to go back to it one day but you don't want to see it. You can hide it, I guess. Configure auto boot, rotation, and brightness. I'm pretty sure is this is the brightness for like the actual screen. I'm gonna turn that up. But we're gonna go ahead and go back. This is where you'll see the list of ROMs you have installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. Back. And delete this one. Back. Back. So you won't see any list. I was just messing around with it before. But we're going to go ahead and go to add a ROM. Just leave it set at Android internal memory. If you do have a like a OTG cable, you can use a flash drive, so that's pretty cool. But well, we're going to go ahead and hit next. I'm going to choose a zip file. And I'm going to choose my trusty Illusion. I've been using Illusion since it first came out. I, I was using the unofficial CM12, but Illusion was a lot better and more stable for me. So, yeah, I was using that. But, I'm going to go ahead and install this. And if you hit Reboot System, you should see the auto boot thing pop up. Now, if, if you leave that alone, it will automatically boot by itself. But gonna go ahead and double tap you have to double tap on the ROM you're trying to boot I'm not sure how many of these you can install so say you want to have Jasmine ROM Sky Dragon you still have your stock installed you have CM11 you have CM12 you have Illusion ROM um, you have Liquid ROM I don't know like just whole list so like so this is good if you're a tester for like any dev out there and like maybe he's releasing a beta ROM but you still want to test it for him you can have that as a backup but while you're at work you can boot into your main ROM or if you're like me and you work you can have like a ROM for work which is really stable like say stock or illusion ROM and then, you know while I'm off I can have something that's in beta I don't know maybe Ubuntu Touch will get released for our phone <laughs> I don't think I installed the G apps, did I? So there's that. You don't want to forget to install the G apps or you won't have the Google Play Store. So I'll show you guys how to do that after it boots up. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. But there's many uses for this and it's just so easy to change between which ROMs you want to boot. Some have reported that their LTE doesn't work or the Wi-Fi on 5 gigahertz doesn't work, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I guess the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi is, like, if you have really fast internet, I guess that sucks for you. Don't use this if you need that. But, gonna go ahead and unlock it. Gonna hit got it. See if my LTE pops up. And it does. So, there we have it. And I don't think the I have the advanced reboot, so we're gonna go to settings, and we're gonna go to illusion box. We're gonna go to miscellaneous. Okay, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go to security, and then we're gonna go to advanced reboot, and we're gonna hide on secure lock screen. So now when I hit reboot, it gives me recovery. And you've seen I didn't have any. Google apps whatsoever. It, it even skipped the installation. So that was, I guess that's a good thing for the sake of this video because it skipped the installation, but kind of a bad thing if you really need the Play Store like I do. But we're going to go back. I know this sort of takes a while to boot, but you want to go back to multi ROM, list of ROMs. We're going to choose that and we're going to flash a zip. And I use the mini G apps package. There may be an updated one. I don't know. I haven't updated my G apps in a while. But we're going to go ahead and reboot system. And if you leave, like if you, if you don't mess with the auto reboot, I'm assuming that it just keeps booting into the first one, which would be uh, Sky Dragon. So there's that. But. Yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything in this video. If I didn't, leave a comment below and I'll try to, you know, get to it in a 
different video and maybe I'll just help you out in the comment section maybe message back and forth I don't know something like that but I think I pretty much covered everything if you still need help there's the multi-ROM XDA thread I will leave links below to everything that you need I will, I will leave a link below to the Illusion XDA thread the Sky Dragon XDA thread the Sky Dragon kernel um, the multi-ROM has the three zip files the kernel the twerp and also the multi-ROM zip so I will leave a link below to those XDA threads and I'm not going to leave a link below to the G apps because so many different places you can get G apps it depends on who you are which G apps package you want I choose a minimal one see there's only 11 apps that it's trying to install currently but yeah gonna go ahead I just wanted to show you guys that it's installed the Google Maps so we're gonna go to apps and let that reload and there you have it we have the Play Store just a sec I need to log in I'm gonna wait to do that until I'm not on video but I hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you have any questions leave a comment below and I hope you guys have a good day